Alright, hello everyone and welcome to Nostalgia Plays here on Kodobos Games. Now this is a new little series I decided to uh, start up after we recently finished Far Cry 4. You know, I was th sitting here thinking, just trying to figure out what in the world to play next. And, you know, going through all the recently released games, I just could not find anything I liked. I'm a little disappointed in the current releases out there. So I decided to go back to my younger years and play something from long, long ago. Oh god, I think this game was released in 98. Uh, but yes, we are going to play Mob Rule, which is a really fun sort of crime tycoon game that, uh, as I said, came out in... Or no, 99, I think, is when it came out. Somewhere near the millennium. And I don't think I've played it in about 10 years. And I thought it might be fun to revisit it and possibly other games in the future. I don't know. Maybe we'll see how this all pans out. Who knows? This might not be nearly as good as I remember it being. Because, again, it's probably been 10 years since I've played it. But I figured, hey, let's give it a go and you know, play an old game. Now, I did pick up this on GOG, which is why we do have glorious 16x9. Uh, you gotta love the folks over there at GOG.com. They just uh, bring back life to old games and it makes me happy. So, uh, we shouldn't have any weird bars along the side, though there is probably still going to be some weird graphic things here and there because, well, it is a really, really old game. But let's get going. I, Like I said, I haven't played this for like 10 years, so we're just going to start fresh a new game, run through the tutorial. We'll put it on medium because... Well, easy might be too much of a cop-out, but I'd probably die on hard very quickly. So we'll go with medium, and we'll be... Hmm, let's see. Slick Joey, Nick the Knife, Kenny the Kid, or Bugsy Serrano. I like Kenny the Kid. Look at that glorious hat he has on. It's just lovely. So, let us accept. The following set of missions will introduce and to get our little intro. The basic functions of the game. Yes, the tutorial. Always oh, good. Occasionally help you with hints. That will probably be helpful, and I do like how they do say the computer will help you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, before people really cared much about the third or the third wall. Listen up. Voice build a soup kitchen next to your H. Okay, soup kitchen. Yes. A tenant in it and start breeding some workers. Breeding workers. Got you. Okay, so here's our crime boss guy who's showing us the ropes. Now that we uh, are trying to run our own mob syndicate, we'll spawn in this world here let's pause the game I d we actually don't need to worry about anything because right now it's just us on this map uh, as you can see it's us and down here we have the police and uh, the local government uh, but yes so in the tutorial I remember this part you start up all on your own and then as the tutorial progresses another crime family like shows up up here I think is where they pop and then we have to go to war with them Actually, I think they might have popped down here sometimes. It might be a little bit random. I don't remember. Again, 10 years since I've played this game. Dear God. But I am noticing, my God, the scrolling is really quick. Let's uh, actually... Hold on. We got to unpause to actually go to the options, which is interesting. Yeah, I put the scroll speed down to the lowest, and it's still crazy quick. I think we can use... Yes, we can use the arrow keys, but it is much slower. Or, of course, click down here. I think we'll click on the map. I think that'll be a much better option. And we need to build a soup kitchen, which is a basic business that uh, helps us create more workers. And actually, I'll sort of show this off. You After you click this... Oh, oh, oh God. The wonky, quick mouse movements. You uh, can place it along here on the... Whoops, uh, and I clicked off of it. But there we go. Oh, God. Ro how do we rotate? Oh, there. Nope. I don't want it positioned that way. There we go. Okay, so you kind of click to rotate, but outside of things. Then you, uh, you know, position it somewhere here, and you'll notice it grows because we can build anywhere along these lots. And this map is kind. I remember it being weird because of how thin the lots were. But on some of the later maps, uh, the lots get pretty big. So if you uh, make all your buildings just right, you can fit multiple buildings on multiple layers of this. But let's just build it all the way across. Click once to do that. Then we can uh, move around the house. 
Oh no, this is determined the size of the plot, so now we can make it bigger if we want. We'll just keep it that size. And then we can actually move the house that'll be built inside. And it's kind of good to make them a little bit bigger because you can get upgrades later at, I think it's called a gadget factory. And uh, you can use these upgrades to make them, the houses make more money, be safer from the cops, because you, you gotta worry about the cops. We are gangsters after all. So let's just pop that down. And now we can click it, see the status. And if we click this, it'll call one singular worker to go and start building. Or of course we can uh, click and drag and move everyone over there and just uh, right click on the building itself. And of course, more workers you have, the uh, quicker the building will get constructed. It's uh, quite, quite nice little typical mechanic there. And there we go. Now we have a house. And uh, yes, yeah, so if we click on it now, we get the interior. And we have to have a tenant move into the place. Now that's one of the things. Oh God, where do you find it? Oh, I think at the HQ. Yes, and here we get w the different kind of people we have. So like right now we have four, uh, let's actually pause while I'm looking over this, four workers that are currently in use and we have five level one tenants that are currently inside of our HQ. And you need tenants to work in the buildings and workers to build stuff and move things around and then of course gangsters to protect things because well you got to keep your stuff you know, guarded from other gangs and, of course, the police. That's always something to worry about. And, yeah, you can uh, upgrade workers to gangsters or make them workers, which do special things. I don't remember what the workers do. And uh, also make workers into tenants. And, of course, again, tenants go into the houses for rents. So, and the, oh, the soup kitchen helps you breed workers. So it's a whole system of, you know, making sure you have the people you need. So let's plop a tenant in here. We'll grab this guy. And oh my God, I forgot they have stats. <laughs> 10 years, folks, 10 years. So we can either put in Jasper Allnut or Horace Cockup. <laughs> oh, I gotta love the names. We'll go with We'll go with Jasper here. He has more money. So, I don't, I don't know why that makes me happy to uh, go with him. We'll appoint the tenant. And there we go. Now, oh god, pause again. They have different things we can set them to. So, like, right now, they're producing money. We can also have them produce tenants. Or, of course, produce workers. And they'll do whichever you set this thing to. So, uh, actually, it says a yes right here. Uh, well, we need to breed another worker. So, we'll have to unpause to click that. There we go, and we'll get a new child in 146 days. Holy crap. Okay, wise guy. You're doing <laughs> oh, am I doing well? Excellent. Buy some land, and build a cement factory, and a gadget factory. Excellent. When the cement factory is built, get some guys inside, and restock it back up to 10 units. Okay, Don't sounds good. It. Make sure to breed at least two of the workers. Excellent, excellent. So we need to breed more workers, make a gadget factory, a cement factory, and buy land. So... Huh. How do we buy land? I've completely forgot. I, I'm, I'm assuming this button. View and or purchase new land. So yeah, we can see the different land we have, and they all have different prices. Let's go for this one right now. That's a good cheap price, and it's right by us, so uh, we can afford that quite nicely. Excellent. Now, for buildings, and we have the different categories, so we've got the resource ones, cement makes cement, of course. The businesses, you'll have like the soup kitchen, I think a tavern's the next one we unlock, or a speakeasy or something like that. And then utility ones like the gadget factory, which makes the gadgets I was mentioning before, like you can build trees and curtains for the building, stuff like that. It's all very, very cool, but let's build the cement factory. We'll build it over here, just the smallest size we need. Move all the workers, and I love the sort of stereotypical, yes boss, sort of gangster th it voices, I guess would be the best way to put it. Uh, and our weakest worker is actually a little damaged. Interesting. Now these guys, these guys are random city workers. They are building the sidewalks around our purchased area and fixing up the roads. Okay, okay, excellent. So we have all this. Let's move all you guys out. You, though, you, stay. He has to stay, and he actually is a worker. So with him in this factory, it can now produce cement. 
And, of course, we could sell it. View the gadgets. Nope, none that we have in this building. Manual or repair it. Call a worker. All good things. All good things. So, excellent. Let's do that. And I probably should actually build... Well, we're supposed to build the gadget factory. But I kind of want to build another one of these. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's build another soup kitchen. Right here. Make it a little bigger. There we go. All of you go down here and do that. And then we'll build the gadget factory in here. I probably could have sized up all of these a bit better and fit maybe one more building. Eventually, when we get the tavern, I want to build it up here. I think that'd be a good place. I'm trying to remember what I used to do ten years ago. <laughs> Not always the greatest thing. You all, go back to headquarters. And get a tenant for the building. So we've got Herman Pickles. Or, uh... Anton Dork. Let's go for Pickles. I like his name. <laughs> there we go. And I'm actually going to have him producing money. Because, well, we, we want cash. So that's a good thing to do. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Other things. So we can, sh we can upgrade these soup kitchens. We need an oven to upgrade it to a diner. And they become better and better at what they do. Which is always a good thing. Sell off the property, view the gadgets, manually repair. Okay, trying to remember everything. Oh yes, we got our first worker from him over here. Once they produce a baby, they automatically go to the HQ. And so that's him there, which is great. And you see our future worker baby. He just went inside, but that is him over there. And let's actually build that gadget factory now. We have more than enough resources for... Oh yeah, I really should have resized these a bit more. Oh well, big gadget factory. Probably not the best plan to do, but oh well, c'est la vie. I think we should be good on this. Ah, oh, God, so many memories of this game. I used to play it all the freaking time. And a few other things to point out. You see this little, this is a metro stop here. So uh, if they have to travel longer distances, like I think, yes, there's a metro stop over here by City Hall and the police station. So if I told a worker to go here, he'd go into the metro and then come out here so he didn't have to walk all that way. Okay, and we have taxes due. I forgot about this whole system. We do have to pay taxes. $580 at the moment, and we have to pay it in three more years. Well, almost four years. That's always good. Police department. We don't have any, you know, anything we have to do here yet, but eventually you can actually send bribes to the police station, and they'll create a little cone thing that you can put somewhere in your territory, and basically you're buying off a cop to actually patrol your territory for you, which is great. It's wonderful. Uh, so many great memories of this game. You go into here and... Um, oh, yes, we can plant trees. Which... I forget what trees do. They do something. Metro stations, of course. So we can make these uh, metro stations all over the place. Uh, select which objects to manufacture. Can we change? I mean, we've only got those two options right now. But you can plant trees. They beautify the area to make it better. But I don't remember exactly what they do. But let's let's build a few trees. Let's uh whoop oh god went too went too far. God that screen is really fidgety. So let's place a tree right here and right here. Oh god that's producing ten. Easy huh? Yes, yes. Oh, I think that was a timer, not a producer. Oh, God. <laughs> Excellent. So turn the soup kitchen into a uh, diner. Ex and yeah, we already have him paying rent, so that'll be good. Okay. Will do, will do. So, the fixer thing. I can't remember what they each do. Uh, hold on, hold on, actually go back. Oh, let's go here. So the gangster, they have like a Tommy gun and they're good for killing enemies. The fixer, he has a pistol if I remember correct, but I don't, I don't remember exactly what he does. Well, I guess we'll find out since that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, but let's unpause. Oh, that tenant is mad for some reason. Uh, ba -ba -bum, ba -bum. Oop, no, no, wait, what? Emergency repair? Wait, why, do, why does this place need an emergency repair? Oh god, what have I done? What have I done? Okay, we need an oven. 
There we go. We'll put that into that one. I won't upgrade the other for now. I think we'll be fine. Oh no, we did actually produce multiple trees, so it produces five at a time. That is interesting. I do not remember that in the slightest. Oh god! One of our buildings has started to deteriorate. Oh no! <laughs> oh, the fixers keep things up and up to code. Okay. 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 Oh god! Someone get in inside now. Get get into here. I think you have to go inside. Then become a fixer. Respect, Godfather. Of course. And then. Take care of that building. Uh, okay, you see his complaint. Help, I can't see anything from the smoke in here. Oh God, we have 356 days to solve this problem. Wow, so we have a whole year to solve Herman Pickle's fire issue. So it must not be that bad. <laughs> Fixer, are you? Fix, oh, oh no, I actually have to toggle auto repair. There we go, so that's what he is doing. We can tell him to automatically go to the HQ or destroy buildings. But he seems to be taking care of that one well and excellent. Yeah, now he's going to go and patrol the other buildings. Now here's something. I don't remember. Does he stick to one block or will he go to another block? I seem to remember that he would only, he would stay on the one the block he's on. I think that's what he's doing. Unfortunately. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if there's a subway, which is it's good to make the subways anyways. It helps them get around places quick more quickly, which doesn't matter too much right now since we only have these two blocks. But eventually once you're spread out a lot more and you have enemies over in other areas, it becomes more important to have those subways around all around the place. But I wonder if there's a subway if he'll connect over to the others. Let's find out. Nope, nope, he's still just wandering around. I should be building other things. Can we build a tavern? Oh, we can, a drinking den. There we go, we'll take up the rest of this property lot. Excellent. Okay. You all go and build that. We definitely need some more businesses and the drinking dens are always good and actually, yes, we can upgrade it with a still. So I think the drinking den then becomes a tavern, maybe, or a speakeasy, or uh, I'm probably talking completely out my ass right now. But okay, so oh god, no, no, tenant. Okay, so do we want Arnold Gasser? Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Well, hmm, hmm. We'll go with Dave Biffer. There we go, and he. I'm gonna keep making money. Actually, hmm. hmm. No, let's have him producing tenants, because we do actually need a couple more tenants. We'll move him over to money eventually, though. And do we just need a still to upgrade this place? Yes, just a still. Excellent. So, oh, did I forget to build you? I did. It's been sitting there this whole time, and I just forgot to build the darn thing. But yeah, we'll build the still, and we will put it back here. And build that so we can upgrade this. But does it say what to upgrade it to? To a brewery. Okay, I like that option. Who doesn't love a brewery? Breweries are wonderful, wonderful things. Cement factory is going pretty good. Always nice. We, uh... How much can we hold? Oh, there we go. They put the oven in so we can upgrade this building for $4,000 and three units of cement. Not bad at all. We have to send our workers to actually go and do the upgrading. And then soon we'll have a glorious, beautiful diner here, which should make us more money and just overall be much nicer. There we go. Now we need some more buildings up and running to breed some new people. Sounds like a plan. Build another soup kitchen. Excellent. Den. Good to know. If one of them breed workers, the other new tenants to replace the ones you're I, using. I think I'm already doing that right now. Happy, how about making a few trees in the Done that too. And planting them in the gardens. Uh, okay, so the trees keep people happy. I uh, guess, yes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, we instant win that one. Oh, when the mob family moved in. Like yesterday. Okay. You got to use a gangster. Okay. Just the workers. Good to know. Yeah, good to know. Workers into your HQ. Okay. Good plan, good plan. Okay, so 
I completely forgot that that's when the people move in. I remember when I was a young child, I used to game this tutorial whenever I replayed the game. I, I used to just horribly cheat because I used to remember that. And when I was waiting for this whole part to happen, I would build up on like several city blocks to have a huge sprawling mob empire before they could pop. But yeah, I can, I don't, I don't, I didn't remember that this time. So we are actually going to have to properly fight them. So let's hit continue and they should be popping in somewhere. Huh, I don't actually see them yet. It might take a little bit, but I actually think this is probably a good place to stop. Uh, we're at a good point here, I think. We just... We finished up a vast majority of the tutorial. I'm pretty sure once we kill this family, I think we win. Or another family moves in. I don't remember. It's been a... Again... 10 freaking years since I've played this game. But yes, I, I, I think this is a good spot to stop for now. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this episode, come back on Thursday should be when the next one is up. It'll be taking up the time slot that Far Cry 4 had previously been filling. So I do hope you have enjoyed. And hey, if this series goes well, we'll play some other old games from my past. Perhaps Colonization. That's a really fun one. I love that game to death. And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today and that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.